Mooba. What's up, gamer? How are you doing? How are we doing? How's everybody's sh Wednesday? Hi, kid. Hello, hello. How's the day going, gamers? Hi, logins. Ba -ba 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 -ba. How's it been? How's it been? Tell me about it. Shablorable. Hi, hey, Kai. How's your Thursday? Thursday afternoon. Tired, I feel you. Busy work day or no work today? What was, what was today? Still kind of sucks, though. Well, I wish you the swiftest recovery possible. Why does it make you gray on mobile? I don't know, but you're red in chat for me, so. You have been de-orange. You have been redded. Have you tried not being tired? I've tried that. It's really hard, actually. Not being tired is really fucking. Oh, you've been alternate red, red adjacent. Not good at tired, my father's name. Wow. Oh. Hello, hello, goobers, hello, gamers. What's up? What's up? Poppin'? Scanning. My lane. Driving. Oh, I've had a pretty decent day so far. Did some more video editing stuff. Prepping and doing a little bit of learning for uh, rigging myself up with AR kit face tracking. That's going to be a fucking nightmare, but I have faith. I believe in my smell. I think I can do it. Gun it. 
but it will definitely take some effort. Mm -hmm. I should start with some stretches, actually. Oh, God. Always good to start with um. You know what I was thinking about? Because I opened a bunch of uh, curtains that I usually have down because it's not hotted anymore, so I don't have to have them down to keep the house cool. Um, I really like windows. I like sun coming through windows. I think I'm still very into the, like, I have a crazy expensive mansion aesthetic of, like, an entire wall is just, like, massive glass panels. I still super fucking dig that. I also super fucking dig the here is my like loft area with like a staircase that leads up to it and the edges of the staircase and the edges of the loft area have like glass uh little like panels to act as like <laughs> like a fence basically a little barrier so that you don't fall off but it still looks really pretty. Love that shit. More oh, shall fuck. gather. More shall Hi, enter the fray. What's up, gamer? Hello, raiders. What's poppin'? How was your stream, Chrome? What'd you get up to? Hello. Oh. Welsh, thanks for the follow. Heart emoji to you, too. What, what were you doing? We were just talking about, uh, liking, like, you know how if you have, like, a big turbo, like, modern mansion, it'll be, like, an entire fucking wall is just, like, a back. window panel or Your something? Your steadfast loyalty is greatly shit. appreciated. Oh, and the gifts of from Logins, thank you, and all the follows, thank you guys. Hello, hello. Do you guys also like huge window panels in, like, modern mansion houses? Uh, if you guys don't know me, my name is Garyu. I am a uh, soft, fluffy maned dragon. I do a lot of uh, variety streaming. Today we're uh, doing some art. We've been working on uh, designing a little a demon guy as an adoptable for uh, October. He's he's pretty pog so far. I like his. He's very shaped. Got exaggerated proportions and stuff. Uh, and he's so f I made him really fluffy. I like how fluffy he is. You could just sink, sink your hands into his big fluff. Very fun, very fun. Thanks for the follows. Yeah, what were you up to? Do you mind if I take a peek at what you were up to? Here, here, let me, let me, let me take a little peek. Let me take a little peek. Chrome plays games. What games were we playing? What were we playing? What were we playing? It's ba -ba 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 video. Show me, show me. Show me. I don't want clip. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh. What is this? Ace Attorney. I've heard about Ace Attorney. I've never, I've never played it myself. Did you solve cases? Were you pogging? This is not Ace Attorney. This is like funny videos. Okay, okay. And Celeste. Okay, we got we got we got a big variety. Damn, Celeste. Would, I I don't think I'll ever be able to play Celeste. I feel like I'd fucking lose my mind. Any platformers that require like like precision uh like precision button presses where you have to like specifically um specifically land in very very precise areas and shit like, like i don't think i'd be able to do that i would totally 
I think I would just whiff like a couple times and then like lose my mind having to like reset and like try levels over and over again. Um Yeah, generally platformers in general or like shit like um Jump King or whatever, I I I feel like I'd I'd I would absolutely lose my goddamn mind. I, I would get frustrated super easily. <laughs> You're doing Dark Souls with your voice you can handle. Dark Souls has a lot more that I can sink my teeth into than uh than a 2D puzzle platformer, I think. I don't know. So Dark Dark Souls sits in my brain in an entirely different place. Um anyways, uh yeah, that's just a nice little intro for people coming in from the stream raid. Uh, if you guys aren't already following Chrome and you were here hanging with me, you should follow them. They're fucking based. Hung out with them in VR a few times. They're very chill. Very cozy, very cozy. But yeah, uh, well, come on in. The vibes here are pretty, pretty chill today. I'm gonna be doodling on this boy a bit. Yeah, absolutely. I'm doing a little hangout on Friday. I don't know what your schedule's like, but, uh... I'm doing a little hangout on Friday in VR, so if you want to pop into that, you're more than welcome. Oh. Also, hi Rumble. How are you doing? I have, I have a little. So on my on my phone case. Well, actually, not on my phone case. I don't have a case on my phone. It's just directly on my phone because I like to live dangerously. Uh, on my phone case, there is a. Uh, sticker of my one of my friends like dog characters uh here and then there's a uh, a Phyron sticker overlapping it like here and then like underneath all of that there's a Hanu sticker and then right here on top of the Hanu sticker I have like a tiny little rumble sticker that's the there's a camera so you you've been on my phone for a long time now. Tiny little rumble that lives on my phone. Ah. Ba ba ba. But yeah, we are, uh, I'm like slowly grinding out the first pass of this tail. We wanted to give him like a thick, chonky tail. Uh, and we're doing it like sort of like vertebrae style, like big bone tail, and they're gonna have like little wispy like stuff coming out of the gaps. But first, I gotta do the first pass of it. A little grumblow, yeah. A tiny little, tiny little goober. Little goober. Oh, is that your first time playing Celeste though, Chrome? How how is it? I I know it has like a cool story, and I know that in terms of like platforming games it is essentially the like the peak it is a banger platforming game i've gone to talk to uh if you know hurry slowly i've gone to talk to hurry about it a lot because they like they like speed run it it like it makes me clench and like wince to watch them play though like i don't know it's 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 so tight with inputs that watching it always makes me go like oh I'm always just like panicking on their behalf. Oog, arg, doog. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, how's everybody's week been? Middle week of October, approaching Halloween at a rapid pace. You guys do anything cool for Halloween? Uh, I recently put up uh, little little gel things on my windows with my roommate, and gosh, they make me so happy. Got my got my little like window, and then there's like a little a little pumpkin gel thing with like a little jack o' lantern face, and like a, and the little like leaf thing on there, and then there's like a bat. And like stuff like that and like sticker that says like like little gels that say like happy Halloween and stuff across the window. It's really cute. Love that shit. I love Halloween decoration. Yeah, it's Halloween soon. It's basically Halloween. It's Halloween all month in my brain. Always Halloween. 
Halloween is a all year type event. Time is fake. It's all made up. You're zooming, yeah. Chrome, you doing any cons? Any cons that I'd catch you at? Got BLFC coming up at the end of this month. Got MFF the month after that. CFZ in Scotia. Okay, so other side of the planet for me. Maybe MFF next. Year. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool, cool. Actually, where is CFC? Is CFC confuzzled? Uh, is that what that one is short for? I know MFF. UK. Okay, okay. That's UK. Got it. I schnee, I schnee. Cons are cool. I just like hanging out with friends and playing board games. I wish I lived somewhere closer to people so I could do that more often. When are they going to make the... Uh, I, I, I go on about this a lot, but again. The cartoon rubber circle that you carry in your back pocket. That you slap down onto the ground and then you jump into it. And then there's like a, 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 a vertical wipe transition. And then there's already the rubber hole, the rubber circle on the ground in the other place, and you like come up out of it, and then you peel the rubber rubber circle up off the ground. I need one of those. When when are we getting that technology? That has been in my brain since fucking Toontown Online was a video game that you could play. And ever since then, I have craved that Dark Souls White Soapstone. <sighs> Just por portal technology in general, dude. I gotta, gotta, got places to be. I don't have time to be traveling and paying money for traveling. I just want to be places. Just get me there, dude. Just get me there. Send me through... The Nexus or whatever, I don't care. Just apparate the dragon into position. Quantum superposition me through all obstacles. Ah, oh, many things, not all of them teleporting. True. You could use them creatively got many creative uses how was ace attorney though i've never played an ace attorney game do you feel like i i, I don't know much about them other than that you are like lawyering basically is there a like large skill element or is it kind of like linear and you're just like in experiencing a story what's it what's it all about what's it like And holding the server you make feel really stupid you don't know what to do like you're missing something obvious the music is good yeah i see i see is there like do you actually have to do deduction on your own or is it like before you go and like start fighting a case or whatever can you do like you just talk to every npc and talking to them gives you like 
knowledge about shit or whatever. Figure out what's happening during the trial. I see, I see. Can you save scum, or if you fuck up, are you just fucked? I am, I am very into save scumming in, in games like that. <laughs> I will very frequently be like, alright, I don't like how that panned out. I do it over. I demand my epic pog perfect run. Not much need. You can't progress until you've found all the evidence. Okay, okay, okay. I get ya, I get ya. I've been on a bit of a Dark Souls stint lately. Uh, what do you think about Dark Souls, Chrome? Have you played any of the Souls games? Any Souls fans? Don't think they've been bad at timing opportunist attacks. I'd rather just face roll. I see, I see, I see. That's totally fair. They're very much a specific vibe, and usually you can tell very quickly whether that vibe is for you or not for you. I've been doing funky, uh, like, challenge runs lately. Like, one of the things I just made a YouTube video about was, uh... A run where I was beating the game with voice commands only, which was fucking so much more difficult than anything else I've done. Because not only are your voice commands, like, not very specific, like, they're very mundane in what, like, you can really control precisely, there's also just, like, a input delay of, like, two seconds from when you say something to when it happens. And also, there's a limit to how many commands you can put in. Like, I can't just talk fast. I have to leave, like, a second and a half or, like, two seconds between commands. Or it will try and combine all of them. So if I say, like, attack, roll. Instead of going attack and then a roll, it'll think I said attack, roll. Which it'll be like, that's not a command. And I'm like, oh, you can't parse out that attack is a command and roll is a command. And it's like, oh, I can. But you have to leave enough time between them for me to be like, okay, these are separate things. Otherwise, it's like, got you, attack roll. Uh, that doesn't do anything. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucking loved that. And then we've been doing, uh, I was doing other, another challenge set of runs where I was using just, uh, the starting items of different classes. That's been fun. And then I've been dabbling a little bit in Dota on stream because, God, I fucking love Dota. Dota's still, like, easily my favorite game of all time. Um, and last night I got some, like, really friendly, polite, random players, which is, like, so fucking rare for, like, a competitive online experience. It was very charming and sweet. They, like, uh, Dota's a 5v5 game and they were a four stack and they, like, were just polite and, like, I they invited me to play another round with them after the match that we won and i did and then they invited me to their discord after and they seem sweet dota one or two i don't know if people play one much anymore but definitely two i don't know what servers exist for one but i've never played one i have only ever played two hey jora how we feeling jora how's the how's the recovery
steady progress. That's good to hear. I'm glad to hear that. Um, 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 um. All the work, the queue is silent. I see, I see. Try to main Ricky, PA, and Invoker. Dota's super fun. If you ever want to play, let me know. I do a lot of coaching and teaching people, so I am always down to play with people, even if it's not like a game you play free. Although I do think Dota is a pretty dog shit, piss ass game for casually playing because it's like. It's one of those games where it requires so much front loaded effort just because there's so much information that like it doesn't even matter if you're technically skilled at stuff it's like oh you haven't played for 500 hours it is humanly impossible for you to have all of the information memorized and dog shit low skill player 547 guy will still kick your ass just because he's played 8000 games and he knows more and it's it, there's like so many hard knowledge checks of like oh did you know that this guy purchased this item that fucks you oh you you didn't know what that item did die and like i don't think that's necessarily a bad game design thing because i do really i think part of the reason i love dota is because of how complex it is but i do think it makes the learning experience fucking really miserable if you're not in it with like a particular mindset and if you're not playing with people that are cool to just have fun and keep a positive mental attitude because if you're playing with people that get like frustrated easily it just becomes miserable because it's like the the experience of being a newer player in dota is just getting your ass handed to you because there's so many hard knowledge checks of like do you know what this does no then you die the excessive cc is lame i don't know how long it's been since you've played but they uh like Sometime like over almost a year ago, I think at this point, they reduce the, they universally reduce the duration. Oh yeah, so since you last played, uh, they universally super turbo nerfed the duration of all the CC in the game. And they also uh, changed how Black King Bar works. So now it like, it has charges, the charges are shorter. Uh, it doesn't make you immune to magic damage anymore like they they've changed it a little bit but comparatively to like other MOBAs like League yeah there's still like 5 billion stuns and shit Hey Cobald, what's up? With Smite, it's interesting. I've done a few games of Smite. Uh, I think my main problem with Smite that made me bounce off of it is uh I like cannot get over the cosmetics. Like that it, it makes the game like basically un untenable for me. I I have no interest in playing when as a new player I have like zero I ability to identify who the fuck anybody is. Because, like, I'm fighting Goku, I'm fighting the a dragon from RuneScape, and I'm fighting a fucking Magic the Gathering character. And I'm like, well, like, who are these people? And they're like, oh, that's a skin for so-and-so. And I'm like, how am I supposed to, like, keep that knowledge? <laughs> like, there's so many fucking psycho skins that just, like, it's, it's not even just skins. Because it's, like, it's one thing to, like, make a guy have, like a glowier armor set and it's another to like turn him into fucking Mobo momo from avatar the last airbender like there's so much ip soup it reminds me of fortnite which is like another game where i'm like there have been so many ips mixed into this i don't fucking know what's going on anymore like <laughs> oh my god it's really funny to look at but i was like this is not it for me dude i cannot play this Oh. Uh. 
You got any games that you're looking forward to, Chrome? Were you uh, on the the Starfield hype wagon, or were you are you are you waiting for anything that's coming out? What do you got going on in your in your gaming future? Delta Rune when it's ready. I have a lot on my radar right now. Gotcha, gotcha. That's by the people that made Undertale, right? People? Person? I was never a Delta Rune knower or... Or wait, you, you type Delta Ruin. Is that different than Delta Rune or is that just typo stuff? I I am not a knower. I'm not a knower either way. Oh, Eddie Rat, thanks for the follow, gamer. Love Rat. Undertale remake, yeah, it's Delta. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, I don't know much about that, but that's cool. Uh, is there like a schedule for that, or is that just like whenever the fuck it happens, Lamau indie development? Not just games with TV and stuff. I am actively participating in watching the latest season of Jujutsu Kaisen. Which is a, like, shonen-type anime that I've been enjoying watching with my roommate. Um, just recently got to watch the latest Spider-Verse movie, and, like, it was fucking dope. So I'm kind of stoked for the sequel of that when that eventually comes out. Um, uh, what else? Uh, always looking forward to new Dota 2 characters and patches and stuff. So, uh, the big international competition is happening, like, at the end of this month. And usually after that, there's, like, a big content update. So, in a couple months or so, there's going to be something happening with Dota that will tickle my brain juices. Uh, not related to games, but uh, I am going to be attempting to teach myself how to rig up new uh, shape keys and shit onto this model so that I can uh, do all the setup to get myself AR kit uh, face tracking, facial mocap. Uh, and that's going to be a fucking nightmare to figure out. But, like, I'm pretty confident that I have the, like, aptitude and the resources to do the science required. Just going to be some fucking work. Uh, and another thing I'm excited about is this fucking, this goober. I don't know. I, I hope he goes for, like, a, a decent chunk of change to whoever buys him. But uh, I'm just excited about like working on him and designing him, because he's. I'm just like really proud of how this is coming out so far. I genuinely think he looks super cool. I'm just like I'm just like a slut for like fucked up monster characters in general. So like, this is just like peak character design to me. I fucking love this shit. He's he's cool as fuck. I'm just slapping like all the details onto him that I really like personally. And it is making him cool as fuck to me. Looking real nice. Thank you. Doing what I can. <sighs> but yeah, that's kind of what's going on in my world. I got a lot of fucking cons coming up. So it's going to be a lot of travel. I'm doing... I'm, I think I've resigned myself to getting a... Uh, thank you, login. Doing my duct tape dummy for my fursuit at uh, BLFC, the con that's coming up at the end of this month. Um, because I tried doing it with just my roommate and almost passed out 
with like fucking heat stroke because of how insulated my the like fucking uh coveralls I was wearing plus like the layers of duct tape so that shit is not happening unless I have like at least three people to help uh, and I don't really have anybody local that could like accommodate that so are those your usuals BLFC will be my first time MFF I've done 2018 2019 and 2022 um MFF I wasn't planning on doing just because last year it was like turbo crowded and they liked it, it's still the con that the most of my friends go to so it's still cool to arrive at because I always get to see a fuck ton of people but they've like handled the venue so shittily for like last year it was just so turbo fucking crowded all of the lobbies were a mess all the elevators were a fucking mess uh that i was like i don't know dude i did fwa and anthrocon for the first time this year and those fucking slapped and were just organized better and i was like i think i'd just rather go to those but then uh one of my friends was like hey i will uh hook you up with a room if you come and i'm like oh fine i guess uh so i'll be going to mff as well but BLFC is my first time. Um, I'm going to try and do both Anthro Northwest and uh, Further Confusion because I want to get a look at the West Coast of the US because like, I think ideally I'd like to move there eventually if things like fall into place for me and allow that to happen because I'm really tired of living in the middle of bumfuck nowhere with like no access to public transit or like any fucking people that live nearby like my closest uh person that i hang out with is like a 45 minute ride away but like i want to live somewhere where i can just like constantly be hanging out with people you know that's much more my vibe you're gonna love a fursuit <laughs> well the difference between the duct tape dummy and the fursuit is that uh it won't be made of like fucking like neoprene plastic that's completely like just stuck to my skin and completely fucked uh i'm sure the first suit will also be hot but like it won't be made out of fucking thick plastic oh. we'll see we'll see i'm gonna look cool as fuck either way so should we give him like a scythe tail spike or something? My head's gonna have fans in it. My head, my head's gonna be aerated. It's gonna have fans in it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pog. I will breathe in fresh air. Should you get like a, a funny tail spike? I think he needs a funny tail spike, but it's like the question is is like what kind of what kind of shape do we do for the tail spike? Are we going like do we go like like something like like broad and like fucked up? Do we give him like a fucking double axe? Do we give him like the halberd point at the tip of it? Or do we go for like just like like a, a fucking crescent or something? I don't know. What 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 kind of like what kind of fucked up shit should we slap on the tail, gamers? What do you think? I like... I don't think we just end it in, like, a point. I think that's too boring. We gotta, like... Gotta give him some, like, fucking... Like, like, like what we have up here, we've got, like, the sharp angle, like, scythe type deal. So we could, like, mirror that sort of shape onto the tail. Um... morning star hmm well we've got like a bone thing going on so it has to like be something bony morning star is like a lot of spikes is there a way to make that like look bony maybe maybe we could do like something like like this or something under the end of it big impact thumps i don't know i kind of like bladed stuff more than impact stuff when it comes to like really long tails but impact stuff is good for how thick it is because it is like a chonky tail hmm 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 
thinking, thinking, thinking. Like try. We can we can we can do some some samples. Hmm. Either way, I'm gonna start off with like the one out of these. And we could pop. A spike. Like that's a huge spike. Got a flare out. You were like there. Mm, Interesting, interesting. I jiggle you around.
Maybe like more of like a mage. Maybe that's the play. We go like mage. Could be. Could be the buy. You. Whatever your gut is telling you, yeah, we gotta we gotta come up with sample. We gotta come up with possibility. Awesome ability. It may seem like it might be bog. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> Mm 
Hey, Ron. How's it going, gamer? Ladies and gentlemen, they're playing some Voxy Park Guide. Oh, incredible. What's your favorite class in that game at the moment? Is Zealot the like mage type guy? Creature. But they they do do caster stuff, right? No, knives and flamethrower. What's the one that like channels and casts stuff, but if you like do it too much, you like blow up your own brain or something? Psyker. Gotcha, gotcha. You see tail, yeah, we're giving them like a like a sort of like mace tip. The tail. Mace sort of deal thing going on. Now I think we go in and we clean up these lines. Yeah, we like fucked up huge giga tails.
Oh. These lines nice and wispy. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna run to the bathroom while I go. Be back after. B R B. Ah, wah, wah, wah. Oh. Waug. Waug. Waug, waug, waug. All right. Oh.
Hi, Burb. How are you doing, gamer? I am Art Dragon. How's your Wednesday been, Burb? Slow but good. Good is good. What do you got going on this week? Watch a marching band competition on Saturday? Ooh, is that something that you just like to do, or do you got like a friend? You got a friend that's like doing the event. Just funzy. Got any Halloween plans? Also, I'm gonna do more stretches. Costume. Tell me about your costume. Halloween party would be big. Oh, 
tell me about your costume burger. Nice, Ruby. I hope you have fun. If you pick to send, yeah, definitely ping me wherever you send them in the server. If you're putting them in like real life photos or whatever, I'll take a look after stream. Oh, hell yeah. Very excited about that. Definitely going to want to crosshatch these a fair bit when I am done cleaning them up. I could just like, kabam, immediately make it happen. Alas, this is, this is how it must be. Final cord. Yeah, he's got a chunky, uh, chunky schmonster tail. Have you seen this guy yet? You want to bite? I think he's going to bite you, actually. I think it'll be the other way around. Mutual bite? Are you going to bite onto his huge peck? Is that what you're going to do? Among other places, understandable. neck. He's got a lot of fluff. Got a lot of fluff around his neck.
Understandable. How are you doing, Sydney? How's your Wednesday going? Hope you're having a good one, Goober. Why do you think? Played like dog shit and doubt of it is with friends, so it's okay. Hell yeah. This sounds like a good good series of Sydney events in my mind. Sounds like a good good time for, for doggies. Have you uh purchased the Cinderin voice line to reward yourself? Or have you come have you begged any of your friends to purchase the cinder and voice line I know nothing of trains understand them sounds like an interesting dilemma burb about the jenkins voice line actually do you know what the cinder and voice line is you don't I, I don't know who Cinderin is either, but I just know the voice line because my friend Snow made me very aware of it because they're like, please buy this and use it whenever I make a play. Uh, the voice line is, uh, it, 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 the voice line is something like, aw, who's a good boy? It's like something like that. And you can, and it's permanent. You, you have that on a chat wheel for the rest of Dota if you buy that. And, uh, I have people telling me that I need to buy it and then use it every time they perform well. Oh, Needle Survivor. What did they needle you with, Pendles? Do you know? But yeah, it is a- it, for five dollars, you can buy me the Cinder and Voice line, and I can- I can go- I can, uh, chat wheel, Aw, who's a good boy? Every time you make a play. <laughs> for you and me. <laughs> That would fix me or make me worse. Something for the for the dogs of Dota 2. It would make me so much worse. <laughs> Unable to make play because ruling. It was pretty cool. Cool because it was Ancient Apparition? Cool. I get it. They drew blood for CT scan. Oh. Do they get results back on that immediately? Or did they just go, I draw blood. All right, bye. And you're like, I'm still in pain. You haven't fixed anything. I hope they fixed something. Thighs of green. <laughs> that was cool because he's fun to play. I see, I see. Not die to Pudge eight times? That would be important. Positive affirmation. As a training tool. Services shit here. It's all good, Pendles. Just, just survive. Can't hear anything either. Um, somebody type out heart emoji. Survive for Pendles.
my my pendles in the ER update. That's a lie! Oh, Ron, don't say that. What the fuck? Pendles is in the emergency room. Do not gaslight them. What if they lost service and that's the last message they see? It's over. I blame Ron for everything. What happened? Pendles is dying of tummy ache itis and they're in the the ER apparently because uh urgent care said fuck you, I don't I don't interact with that. I can't help you. Uh I don't really know more details than that. So Pendles was giving an update that apparently they have drawn his blood for a CT scan or something. Those captions are pog when they work. I think they are pretty solid for me, I believe. Regardless, heart emoji, pendles, stay safe. I try to enunciate very clearly so that closed captions hopefully catches all of that. On birthday. What mucks up other stuff? That's so sad. My fault. I do not speak. The King's English well enough. Me and my weird American accent. Say color. Good luck, pendles, heart emoji. Hey, spaghetti, what's up? How does it spell color? Tell me, Ron, tell me. Spelled it as color? I see, I see. Confirmed canon. How goes the demon drawing? We have the tail. We are now cleaning up the line art on the tail. Making it crisp. Crisp and juicy. Rather than all muddled and sketchy. How's your Wednesday been, gamer? Halfway through the traditional factory work week.
some more hand stretching. Oh god. Scanning. Oh. oh, how does it spell gray? How does closed caption spell gray? You just made me think of that. Gray. Are we G-R-A-Y or G-R-E-Y? Interesting, interesting. I see. Poor Gray stuck in wine, wine related hell. Wine affiliated prison. What are your bad habits, chat? You have indulgences that you're like, I should stop doing that, and then you keep doing it consistently anyway. Love Evangelion. The remake movies, hopefully. Love the remake movies. Doom scrolling on Twitter. I can't even doom scroll on Twitter anymore, dude. Like... Twitter, if I scroll, I'll make it through like 10 posts and then it'll refresh and jump me back up and I'll just scroll and it'll be the same 10 posts. And I'm like, dude, like, this website doesn't fucking work anymore. Being so damn good. Understandable, right? DoorDash. I wish I had the fucking money to have a bad habit that involved spending money. Fucking... I, 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 that, it, that would be an easy one to fall into, though. Like, food, food not made by me. That is a very epic type of food. I love food not made by me. That's pretty rad, Ron. Thinking everyone hates me at the moment. The moment I'm left out of something. <laughs> oh, God. That's that's a far far scarier bad habit. That's so much money, Ron. Oh my god. Nail biting. Never been a nail biter. Oh, commitment to changes I want to make. Yeah, it takes a lot of effort to like break out of habits. We love how disability works in the United States. Very pog. You're making progress. Hell yeah, log. I think one of the things that I've made progress with this year is not fucking spending 5 billion hours ERPing. That used to be like genuinely my primary hobby was just fucking type fucking. <laughs> like that's where all my time would go. Now I mostly free time just end up doing video games with friends which I think is 
much more socially rewarding. One little tail vertebrae at a time. Making them crisp. Mm-hmm. 
bones. His shit got bones in it. I hear my possum giggle up there. I think they're laughing. I've been playing a lot of WoW lately. Any WoW players in here? World of Grindcraft. What are we, oh, any any raiders? Any clan leaders or whatever they're called? Any PvP chads? Right. Core Keeper. That's a Factorio factory esque game, right? Silly survival. Oh. Are you surviving? Sillily? Surviving so good. I'm so proud of you. Little survivor champ. Looks so clean. Actually, really worth the worth the effort to in in Crispin. It has me in hysterics. So you're gonna send it to me. Nice. What's my main wolf status? Is Kit, Kit still in here? Are they jiggling their machine? You are not jiggling your machine at the moment. How's your day going? How, how goes today's machine jiggling? Are we jiggling well?
I hope I hope the machine is jiggling well. Um, What's your favorite sandwich? You could have any any sort of sandwich right now. What would it be? I'd want like a steak and cheese on flatbread. Steak in with like peppers and onions. Stuff. Um, I eat those. Ham and pepperoni. What kind of bread? Hell yeah. Fancy dressing, dude, like unique dressings that add like a punch of flavor to stuff. Oh, that's so good on sandwiches. Not too much, like ranch with a peach, the only small amount. I see, I see. I don't know if I've had olives since I was like four. I want to try olives. I know some people like olives enough that they will just eat like 400 olives at once as a meal. I'd love that so much, Logan. Oh. I have no idea. Typically a white bread guy. Gotta branch out. There's lots of good breads out there.
used to for a bit of previous job. Sandwiches are cool. Definitely a sandwich enjoyer. Oh, this fucking tail, dude. This has been a two stream length tail. What a tail it is. It is a fucking cool ass tail. Definitely gonna cross hatch it. We are done cleaning it up. Hey Shen, what's up? Eat head cheese? What is head cheese? Sounds like the lead into like a complicated these nuts joke. Oh, Our sub money for the dragon. Returns. Thank you. Welcome home. Thank you so much, Shen. Six months, six month streak. Very poggies of you. I will go get my Minecraft sword and uh, go find a Twitch executive in Minecraft and uh, hit them with the Minecraft sword so that I get my other half of the sub money back. Drops from their inventory. That sounds awful, Kit. I'm not a mayo liker. I, in fact, don't like mayo on sandwiches, like, pretty much at all. Mayo hater. Ruby can have my extra mayo as a treat. Oh, let me pull chat on uh, an interesting question. What is, where do you guys stand on icing? Who are our icing enjoyers? Icing on a cake. Yes, no. For me, I am a zero icing. I scrape that shit off or I eat around it. I just eat the cake. Cake is about cake. Icing fucking suck. Only time that that's different is with cream cheese ice cream. Ice cream? Cream cheese icing on cinnamon buns. That, that shit slaps. That's really good. Icing on cakes where it's like all just fucking awful and gross? Fuck that. None of that. Zero of that. Just the cake. Ugh. What about a chocolate glaze? I don't know if I've had that before. I don't know what that is, Kit, but... Cream cheese icing on cinnamon buns? So good. I fucking love making my little cinnamon bun recipe and absolutely fucking dousing them in cream cheese frosting. Oh. Oh, so good. That is the peak cinnamon bun, is the cinnamon bun that has been absolutely fucking doused. But yeah, in terms of cake, I fucking love cake. I hate icing, so uh, I will, like, for example, that's why there is a clip of me going, Marble Pound Cake. Oh. Because uh, that's how I feel about Marble Pound Cake. God, I love Marble Pound Cake. Oh my god, I'm a slut for Marble Pound Cake. Oh. Unfortunate kit. That sounds good, Logan.
No, I think they just mean for this season. So far. Hell yeah, I logged in. Oh. Delicious. I don't think I have ever tried pumpkin pie in my life. Not once. I don't think I've ever tried pecan pie either. I've basically never tried most pies because I tried a really gooey... Some sort of really, really just mush pie as like a five-year-old or whatever and it like ingrained in my brain that like all pie sucks and i have like not revisited that until i was like 21 and i was like wait actually i don't actually know if i like pie i think i just had a bad experience as a child and then was like pie that shit sucks i'm not saying pecan pecan pie I'm sorry, I don't, I don't, I live a place where they say he can. That is, that's, that's where I live. I cannot help this. Fruit pies are where it's at. You know what's not a pie that I've had that was a great pie? Chocolate chip cookie pie, where it was just like, it was just a deep dish, like, chocolate chip cookie. It, it was like fucking... That motherfucker was dense. It was just like a fucking Costco made them. You were like my parents bought them from Costco. It was just a brick of chocolate chip cookie. God, it was so good. Oh, it was so good. Like disgustingly good. And it had the like chocolate chip chunks that are just fucking like bricks as well. Like like when you got a thing that has a chocolate chunk, that's like a fucking brick. God, that's that shit's good. That shit slaps. Oh. I miss the giant chocolate chip cookie pie. Oh, my my beloved was so good. It sees bourbon neuron activation. Yeah. I'm excited for BLFC because now Hanu's going to be there, which means that I can have an easier time keeping my, my maned wolf alive because I can distribute the the maned wolf booze between maned wolf and vernid this will this will help the kit survive the con have two wasted animals on your hands then yeah it'll be great i look forward to it Apple pie moonshine. That sounds like it would taste good.
So many. So many. They do get smaller progressively, but wow. 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 You know what I'm going to do? Up, um, up. Oh, distills their own. I feel like this all has to taste like poison, right? Like, truly, this is the, st the type of booze that just tastes like poison. Is this the poison type? Sounds pretty uniformly like the poison type. It is poison. <laughs> Strong but palatable. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know if I've had much alcohol that I would label palatable. Most alcohol I've had is icky. Look at him. His high fidelity tail is coming along. Slowly but surely, his tail gets prettier. Um, all right ads again i'm gonna go uh take ad break time to make myself a little snack ah uh, i go make a snack you guys should make a snack too if you haven't eated eated good eated important oh oh yeah right bark
back has been time back. Oh. Oh, we won't, we won't, we won't, we won't, we won't, Snack eated time. I'm a hungry little dragon. Hungry dragon. Bada bum. Bada 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 bum. Bada bum. All right. Oh. Um. My little dragon. What colors do you think we should do on this guy? when we get there. Blue? I don't think so. Chocolate sounds nice. I like things that have chocolate. Can you see brown, Ron? Brown usually tends between like red and orange ish. I see, I see. Ron, do you mind if we do a little bit of Ron color science? He said you can see in blue and yellow. Right? In that case. You see blue and yellow. This should represent the Ron spectrum of a visible color. In some sort of way. No, we're just, we're not debunking anything. We're just doing a little bit of science, okay? We're just doing a little science.
I'm just curious. Okay, okay. So you said you see him blue and yellow. And I was I was mentioning like brown. Uh What is this color closest to you? Like what what number on this, Ron, is this color like closest to? For you. Five. Hmm. What about this one? Is it still five? Okay. What about this one? Very weird. So you just don't see red fucking at all. Interesting. Well, science performed. I have finished my little dragon snack, and now I know a little bit about Ron Vision. How the fuck do you play Dota? Do Dota's colorblind options, like, help enough? I feel like they... They're decent, but I feel like they can't be... That good. What game do you think has the best colorblind options for shit that you messed around with? Smite. Does it let you get, like, in deep and, like, manually change things? Or is it just, like, here's your colorblind settings, fuck you? Because I think, in I think from what I understand, the best thing to do for colorblind people is give them, like, give them palette control of, like, 90% of the UI and let them, like, change shit to whatever color they need. Because from what I understand, a lot of the time games will be like colorblind option. I changed like two colors. Thank you. Goodbye. Floyd. I'm doing pretty good. How about you, gamer? I just had a little snack. Feeling energized.
grinding out, detailing up, demon boys, chonky vertebrae tail. Going pretty well so far, I would say. We're making it look crisp. Crisp and clean. Walk in the rain, lovely vibes, hell yeah. <clears throat> right, kid? Keep thinking I'm drawing udders. Huh. Well. That sounds like, that sounds like a you problem. That sounds like you're projecting. Do you have anything to tell us, Spaghetti? Do you have something to say to chat? This is, this is an open forum we're accepting here. All right. Bone juice. I don't think I want any bone juice thing. No comment. Right, what colors do you think I should make the guy? The goober. Purple? Hmm. Hmm. Ron said blue. I, I don't know. I like... I don't mind exciting non-natural colors, but, like, I've spent so much time detailing him I feel like I want to use like more natural color I would miss cheese and butter cheese and butter do slap and egg Cheese does does slap. Alright, I consume a fair amount of cheese. Is there vegetarian cheese? Is that a thing? Or vegan cheese rather? Is that a thing? I know we've got like m meat, fake meat stuff. Do we have fake cheese? You've had vegan cheese? How was it, Kai? Most of it is horrible. Unfortunate. It's suck. We've not cracked vegan like cheese sauce on a burger and the rest of the taste can kind of mask it it's okay on fries what do you guys do with your fries i like basically exclusively 
do uh, salt and occasionally ketchup. Do you guys do any anything else with fries? I don't know if I've ever tried vinegar. I know people do vinegar. Do more stretches. Oh. Mm. 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 God. Maybe ranch. Ooh, I don't know if I've done ranch on fries in a long time. God, now I just want French fries, dude. Now I just want to eat five billion French fries. Riot got fucked on our most recent grocery delivery and did, they, they did not get the fries they ordered. Quite tragic, really. Mayo. I see, I see. I don't like mayo, period. To milk the almond. Nice. Hit. Sometimes a little mayo or mayo based sauce. Hi, Jora. Keying back in on the French fry talk. What's your favorite French fry type? Do you like shoestring French fries? Do you like wavy ones? Do you like fat ones? Do you like steak fries? I think like ridged wavy, like the like the fries that are like like this kind, the wait ridged ones those are my favorite for sure generally i like them uh on the softer end more than the crispy crunchy end you like the crunch the crunch is not bad i don't really dislike either i just think in general i've had more of the softer ones that's more of what my palate remembers. You're fry agnostic. I see, I see. That's fair, Jora, I get you. Um, um. Speak of battered and it makes me think of uh every so often at college they would do fish fries on uh, Fridays and I'd always get two big pieces of like uh, is usually like cod beer battered cod with a bunch of french fries with it love that shit oh dude I haven't had fish and chips in a hot minute I miss it I love fish and chips um, fish in general really good Big fish enjoyer.
Do you guys ever do Boy Scouts? I remember doing Cub Scouts as a little kid and I was just like fucking pissed off all the time. Because, like, fucking children's media had taught me that I was supposed to be getting cool fucking badges and patches for shit, and I never did. I never did Boy Scouts. I think I only ever did Cub Scouts. And I have a distinct memory of a day where they're like, we're going to teach you how to do somersaults. And I'm like, I already know how to do a somersault. I'm fucking, I'm smart. A huge dragon brain. And they had us do it under a fucking tree that was dropping acorns so the entire all of the grass was covered in acorns and i'm like I, this sucks this hurts doing a roll in fucking acorns grass hurts i have a distinct memory of being an angry little dragon being like fucking i'm not doing it i'm not doing it fuck your somersaults and the acorns you do a somersault on the acorns 45 year old dad not my dad just definitely a 45 year old dad that was our, like, troop leader or whatever. Never got any fucking patches or badges or whatever, because apparently I think that was exclusive to, like, the older kids. I don't think we... I don't think Cub Scouts got any of that. Piss me off. I just wanted to have cool patches and shit ever did. Now I compensate years later by getting cool pins at cons and stuff. None of you guys had Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts though. You have what 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 were your what were your enrichment activities as a child? You play sports? You build forts? Scouts yeah, is just a Christian scam, probably. All I knew is I was like a fucking five-year-old and I wanted a, I wanted patches. I wanted to have cool patches on my vest and I never got to and I was mad about it. Still mad about it actually. And they did not allow anyone non-Christian in. I wasn't a Christian. Maybe my parents... That's really funny. Is it actually a Christian thing? My parents must have turbo lied then because neither of my parents are religious. <laughs> I have not ever been raised religiously. So that's really funny to hear if that's true. That's so funny. My parents are like, yeah, he's Christian, whatever. Can you just like take care of our kid for a few hours every week? I don't want to deal with it. I hate children. Cool, that's based. Well, that's that's new knowledge. We never did anything like religiously related, though. I never like had to read a Bible or anything. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Well, that's not lore that I was privy to because the last time I thought about it was as a five year old or something. Cool, cool new lore, lore update. I remember for the longest time not understanding what the fuck CCD was. All I remember is being a child in elementary school and having friends that were like, I have to go to CCD, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? That sounds stupid and made up. And they're like, it is stupid and made up. And I'm like, damn, sucks for you. Exactly, that's exactly what I said. So I'm like, CCD's nuts? Got them? And they're like, yeah, I have to go talk to God or whatever. How are you doing, Snow? Snow, did you ha did you have to do any weird whack religious stuff as a kid? I like escaped all of that to the point that like I was very like I why is God fake and made up and why do so many people believe in it as like a fucking eight year old? I was like this. You all sound like you're on fucking crack whenever people talk about religion. And uh, I kind of maintain that belief going into adulthood, being like, damn, uh, crazy how. We have built a multi-billion dollar corporation off of people's generalized anxiety and fears about uh, unknowns in life and fears about death. 
I love profiting off of people's uh, basic mortal fears and being like, don't worry, I have the solution. Just come do this thing and give me money. <laughs> we love that. We love that. So true, Snow. So true. Can we get a, uh, can we get a F in chat for Snow's fucking, uh, all future pairs of Snow, Snow's pants? We will mourn their passing. For Snow and for Riot, actually. Snow and Riot share that in common, that they have now both fucking had their ass bust out of a pair of, a piece of clothing because their ass is just too fucking huge. Rest in peace. You got kicked out of scouts? Yeah, that's fair, Floyd. How did you get kicked out of scout? What did you do? Only tell me. No, isn't your conference thing this week or is that next week? You fly tomorrow? Gotcha, gotcha. Well, travel safe. Are you going to get to do anything pog while you're there? Or are you just like stuck like actually working? You get to sneak out and be like business expense. I buy myself a donut or something. I do know what the Pinewood Derby is. That's the, uh, race the little wooden cars that you build with your fucking dad if your dad is around or something. You're staying with Luca? Gluca? Did you know everyone wants to kill you all the time? Everyone was like, yeah, we want to kill you all the time. So true, bestie. Cheat in the Pinewood Derby. Did you? Oh, yeah. I, th I feel like you might have. Didn't they like. Didn't you have like weights in the front of your fucking Pinewood Derby car? I feel like I'm I, like, that's what my brain recalls. Is that is that what happened? Pennies. Yeah. <laughs> that's really funny. I really hope not 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 because it's good for Ruby's development, but for the sake of the story, I really hope he threw you under the bus when like you were confronted. <laughs> like, damn, Ruby, I can't believe you'd cheat like that. Anyways. <laughs> it's really funny. You're like, damn, Ruby cheated? That's fucked up. Well, I'll take my kid home. Goodbye. <laughs> he apologized later. He's like, listen, I didn't want to get embarrassed in front of other adults, so, uh, cur thud, under the bus you go, child. Really funny. Oh. Malcolm, son, you're in big trouble. You gotta take the heat on this one, please. God, I love that. Oh. Makes me think of Nirmer. Nirmer loves Malcolm in the Middle. I I love Nirmer. They're such a great little goober. What a what a what a incredible little fucking nerd dragon nerd emoji dragon they're so great they're so into the stuff they're into it's it's i am i am shamelessly enamored by people who are willing to be like passionate about things that they like 
I could at at length listen to Nerimer ramble on about like any of their interests. Cause they like know so much stuff about the stuff they're into. Like just get them get them started talking about fucking like D D or uh Magic the Gathering or whatever and they'll just go and it's great. When they were helping me out uh, by ferrying Riot and I to our vaccine shots, on the way back I got them talking about like all the different types of dragons in D and D, and that was fucking great, dude. I loved that. About how all the stars are so far away, and how Jupiter is basically a failed star. Isn't Jupiter the one that has, like, a fucking storm that's been raging on it for, like, a thousand gajillion years? And the eye of the storm is, like, big enough that you could fit Earth in it? Is that Jupiter? Hundreds of Earths? Wow. With your extensive bug facts? Wow. Bug facts. Bug enjoyers. Jupiter is a big boy. You guys think this guy's balls will be the size of Jupiter? I hope so. Yes. <laughs> Probably, hopefully. <laughs> nice. I'm glad, I'm glad we're all on the same page. We love we love listening to people passionately talk about stuff. Dude, I want to get Lucernic going on about fucking space, dude. Oh, lo love love me a Lucernic talking about space. That is true, Floyd. Love me a little space nerd dragon. Me when I get snow to talk to me about rocks. Are you ready for the drunk rock lecture at MMF? I'm so excited, dude. I'm I'm just ready for you to fucking I want you to explain why why do you bounce lasers off of the rocks sometimes? What does that do? Do the rocks like that? Is it for the rock enrichment? Sometimes the rocks need to have lasers bounced off of them as a little treat. In the bathroom because the countertop was a cool rock. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. The drunk rock lecture at MFF. Are you going to be at MFF, Shen? Should we have a little, like, people that hang out in Gar's chat meet up? You live here? That's so unfortunate, I'm sorry to hear. Unless you like it. Unless you live in some place, like, in that state that doesn't suck cock. Uh... All of my friends that live in Chicago have basically told me, like, yeah, I have been threatened at gun or knife point for my money on the public transit like multiple times I have uh consistently heard gunshots outside of my apartment like pretty frequently uh dude just got fucking stabbed to death like down the street and I'm like all right never living there ever 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 Okay, those people live in bad part of the city, which is sad. The fact that there are parts of the city that are that bad is terrifying to me. Like, I don't... I'm not a city knower, so I'm just like, what do you mean parts? How do you, like, stay away from that? That sounds, like, really bad. I would want to be very far away from that. I don't know where... <laughs> what, what part you mean, but... If there's a part of the city where you get fucking stabbed to death, uh, I wouldn't want to be in any part of the city. Thank you. Just don't go south side. How do you not go there? Is there a way to like? Because I was because was what I was wondering about is like what it, like. 
do you just not take public transit or something if you're if you have to go there or do you just like not even go there at all because like you just you just go around like how do you is is there are there ways to navigate between places in the city without going that direction it sounds scary as fuck dude oh You will know when you're in Southside. I won't. I'm. I'm not fucking going. Oh, I'm already so fucking paranoid of being in public, dude. I am. Sneezy and I share our like fucking tweaking out moments. We're like basically every single time I walk past any person or group of people or a car drives past me, my brain immediately goes like. If they, like, try to assault me in these various ways, what is my, like, current plan? Like, that's just how my brain works, where I'm just, like, somebody walks past me on the other side of the street and waves to me, and I'll wave back, but in my brain, I'm just, like, if they pull out a fucking gun right now, what do I do? And it's, like, sometimes I can push the intrusive thoughts down, but sometimes I'm just, like, actually, like... Huh, damn, I guess I would just get shot here. I don't really have a good plan for that. And then my brain's like, hmm, we should come up with a better plan for, like, what we're gonna do in that circumstance. Catch you later, Jora. Have a good schnoozle. Ugh. Yeah, Shen, I get you. What can I do? What can I say, Ron? That's just like what my brain does. My brain just panics, dude, because I just don't trust people. I, I have such a massive distrust for the average American citizen. Maybe if I, was, if I was in a different country, I would feel very different. But average American citizen? Nah, dude. Fucking nah. Not a chance. It's why I hate driving when I do drive, because I'm just like, you're telling me I have to get on a highway with a bunch of other fucking people in cars and I just have to trust them to not kill me. I fucking hate being in cars, dude. Airplanes and trains, I can tolerate a bit more because those feel like there's better safety measures in place. But anytime I'm on like a car trip, whether I'm driving or not, my brain's just like constantly thinking about Damn, there sure are so many ways I could just get fucking killed right now that I have no control over. Like, that's the greatest fear I have when it comes to cars is just like. Even if you are an incredibly good defensive driver and you are driving very safe and doing all this stuff, it's so easy for you to just get turbo owned by like somebody else who's being stupid, because like if somebody else is in a car and they're being stupid, Trying to compensate for that is almost impossible because, like, they are always going to be able to out-stupid your compensation. Yeah, Floyd. Getting in a wreck, getting turbo-owned. Listen, I have to- I have to bring it down from graphic details to PG-13, okay, Shen? We're on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Dying tragically in a car crash equals getting turbo owned, okay? Get with the gamer lingo. <laughs> Gar's brain is just always in final destination mode. It really is, dude. But listen, there, the benefit with that is that, like, I'm ready. So, like, if you're with me and, like, something does happen... I will tackle you to the floor in a, like, pre-planned strategy about how we're gonna, like, dodge it. And you'll be like, how did you know that was gonna happen? I was just like, I didn't. I was just thinking about it. <laughs> I was thinking about it the entire time. Ah. <laughs> uh. Which is why I enjoyed uh, hanging out with Sneezy at MFF, because Sneezy was, like... Sneezy was on the exact same wavelength as I was, dude. Sneezy's just like, I'm having a good time, but I'm also looking at everybody. I'm fucking watching everybody, dude. Nobody makes a move without me knowing about it. 
Discompopulate. Exactly. That's that's exactly what I'm doing. Just come up. What a good, what a good movie sound bite. So many good uses. Oh, my boy. Look at him coming together, dude. He's so close. He's so close. I legit can't have those kind of thoughts because I have serious paranoia issues. I mean, yeah, I'm fortunate enough that I have pretty banger mental health and uh, I have a lot of good emotional control, so I can just like dismiss the random intrusive thoughts as easily as they come. But that doesn't mean that doesn't stop them. It just means I can dismiss them. It absolutely does not stop them. I, 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 to this day, I will go on a walk with Riot in our, like, sub, hyper suburbs, white old people only neighborhood. And I will still, like, see a car pass by us. And I'm like, what do I do if they roll down their window and pull up, pull out a fucking submachine gun or something? My brain just immediately goes there. And I'm like, well, we die then, brain. I don't know. Speaking of We Die, I uh, I was watching the uh, Aliens movie, like Aliens Resurrection or whatever. It was like Aliens 3. God, it's so bad and goofy. But there's a particular line in it that had me fucking cackling, dude. It had me cackling. So for those that don't know, spoilers for a super old dog shit movie. Um, uh, they In Aliens 3, they, like, clone Ripley and bring her back to life because apparently she died, like, hundreds of years ago. Uh, and there's this... And obviously, like, there are aliens again. So there's this scene where she's, like, with the, like, current troop of, like, fighting people with guns, essentially Marines, but, like, slightly different. They're, like, bounty hunters or whatever. Who gives a shit? The funniest thing is that, like, one of them asks her, they're like, so... So you, you've dealt with these alien things before. So like, what did you do? And my favorite thing is like her, her, her response is she's like, well, apparently I died. And I, I that made me fucking cackle because they're like, what did you do to beat them? And she's like, I, I didn't, dude. I died. <laughs> I'm a clone. I'm a clone because I died. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> That fucking made me crack up. What did you do? I fucking died, dude. What do you want? I don't got a plan. <laughs> Unlike Prometheus. We should watch more movies in like VR or in my server. I like watching movies. I just wish I had more fucking time for it, dude. Ugg. Ugg, ugg, ugg. I have so many fucking Subway sandwiches to draw this weekend. I took on Subway sandwich commissions to be able to afford MFF. I gotta draw them. With or without mayo. Probably a little bit of both. Can I have one? Sure. Wait, you're going? Yeah, I'll, I'll be at MFF. Why, what do you, why do you think I said, like, are, are, are we, are we doing a little Gars chat hangout? We'll have to do a little, like, Gar zone hangout. Could do logins, yeah. That sound was no, so I assume no, yeah. Well, Snow in here offered to help me out, uh, 
And then I looked at the flights and like the round trip was only like 160 bucks or something. And I'm like, ah, if I get that and I buy registration and I like plead with people to pay for my food or something like I can probably swing it. Yeah, it was really cheap. I found like a really good deal with uh, I think the website's called like skip lagged or something. Uh, so it's pretty solid. So I will be there, but I will be like, it'll be, it'll be tight. <laughs> I will have my iPad and I'll be like, please, sir, I will draw you a shitty sketch if you buy me a burger. That's, that's the plan anyways. I'll pull out a napkin and be like, I'll draw your, I'll draw your redacted on this napkin if you buy me a bowl of ramen. <laughs> exactly, Ruby. Hell yeah, Shen. Hook me up. I feel like my art's like purchasable. I don't know. I, I've, I've gotten slightly better over time. I think I am like moderately beyond like turbo dog shit tier art. I think you could look at it for like an extended period of time and not be like, damn, this shit sucked. So that's that's progress. Hell yeah, Shen. Purchasable. Purchasable tier. You know who has purchasable tier art? Kyber. Kyber.art, my favorite website. You know who else has purchasable tier art? Morgus. Buy their shit on Gumroad. They're an artist. Tell them they're an artist. Nobody tells them enough. Nobody says it enough, but they are an artist. They do pretty renders. They make cool, pretty stuff in Blender. Thought all their hoodies are free. Yeah, it's all it's all free, but it's also on Gumroad, so you can pay them money. It's possible to pay them money. Pay them money so that then they can buy me more OD slices. That's the that's the real that's the real scam is pay pay Morgus money so that then they can buy me OD slices. That's the real play, I think. In my in my humble opinion, parentheses, unbiased. Gotta sit up straight more, I slow too much. If you ever see my hands like go like this, they go up higher. That means I'm slouching. If I sit up straight, they should always be like down here. You can tell my posture about tell my posture by where my hand tracking thinks my hands are. This is what good good dragon back posture does to hand tracking. Oh, we're so close. We're so close, but not really. We still have so many more to do, but we're so close. Covering from Dota 2 shrimp posture. I think I sit up straighter in, in Dota than I do fucking <laughs> when drawing. I think Dota keeps me more focused. Speaking of Dota, you know what? I have done another three hours of art. I think I think I can do one Dota as a treat. Oh, I do want to make his fucking packs bigger though. I think that's something I will eventually do before we before we get to color on this guy. Is I will detail his thigh muscles a bit. Maybe I'll like put fluff like temporary fluff here or something. But definitely making his packs bigger. Gotta have a huger chest. Even, even bigger. Anyways, in the meantime...
In the meantime, I'm going to get up and run to the bathroom again real quick. Boom, boom, boom. So enjoy my cozy music while I PRP. And you know what? Maybe on Sunday, depending on how much time and effort it takes, it'll probably take more than just a week. Maybe on Sunday I'll have air kit face tracking. Who knows? Who knows? I probably won't. But I might. I'll at least like know something about it. That's like one of the things I'm going to do on my days off this week is I am drawing schmeet for money and then i'm also gonna be trying to learn all of the fucking steps involved in adding five billion custom shape keys and blend shapes to my fucking model it's so much work because like none of the all of the expressions that you see me do are vr chat affiliated expressions they're not face tracking expressions so i'm going to have to manually go in grab the fucking geometry of the face and make fucking i think it's actually like 57 different shape keys uh isn't it easier with bones i don't know dude i'm not a fucking knower i'm gonna have to google all this shit oh god anyways uh brb i run ads we play dodo when i get back elastic grab sculpt tool it's very good for like small tweaks mileage may vary i know one of the people that i was talking to about it says i should make vertex groups for left and right side of the face and then use that to like mirror everything or something so i'll probably have to figure out how the fuck to do that either way it's gonna be a lot of learning a lot of dicking around with stuff Oh, wow, wow. Doter time. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I will. I have people I can ask for help. Uh, if and when I get stuck. Shark loaf. Hello. What's up? Are you feeling solo queue or do you want gamers? Probably solo queue for now, just because I don't think we have five gamers. Hey, Linnea. How the rest of your. Uh, how the rest of your. Friday night fight night game go. Uh, what's it called? For Honor. Oh. How was the For Honoring? Welcome. Had back. better matches later down Your the line. Noise. Noise. Is oh. Greatly appreciated. Ah wah wah wah. I hit the button. I type. I'll support. Boom, boom, boom. Probably due to the vaping. That might do it. I saw you playing like big, big, long uh, sword guy 
Kenshi or whatever, right? What the fuck is his name? I don't remember. Kensei? Something like Yeah, see, I knew it was something with a K. He's so fun. He's been in since the fucking, like, OG release of the game, I remember. He was in there. And I paste I'll support into chat. I go here. I ban Bane. Five seconds remaining. Oh. Chunky heavy attacks, yeah. Bane got banned. Pog. Um Oh, I do want to complete more challenges in the fucking compendium event. So I'll play John Treeman, even though I think uh, he's really bad with random. Limon will pause for, I see. Abaddon. Oh, hate that. Hate that a lot. All right. All right. All right. Fuck. Abaddon and Darkseer. I get fucking doinked. It really fucking doesn't, Ruby, but uh I like I, I like having little little goober challenges, and this is the closest I got. Is completing shit on the compendium that gives me literally nothing other than it says like wow you did a challenge and I'll be like, cool, I did it. I did a challenge. I get nothing. Jesus Christ. It doesn't even matter who's in this lane. Like, we're getting fucking absolutely boinked on. Absolutely fucking boinked on. Do I get an orb? I don't even think Orb of Venom, like, helps me. I think I just go, like, fucking... I think I just boots rush. No matter who it is, I have to just not be slow. Oh. Your USA tour, you're gonna be so tired. I believe in you, Jno. Hog. Alright. Prepare for battle. In good time. I say first blood pop, but uh, I don't think my friends are gonna be here with. I'll get there eventually. Click my funny button. Hey, I have an axe hero at least. Go. Can we like go invade? Are we? Are we? <laughs> are we doing that, gamers? Like, what? I don't understand. Sniper's gonna die, dude. Not be shocked if sniper gets fucking turbo on, oh, man. Thirty seconds to battle. Abaddon's here. to bottom. Ah! Tower, stop it! Come on. We get we got three bounties. Ooh! Tasty. An interesting vacuum? Okay. Also, thanks for telling me where you put your uh, funny little creeper. Yes. I'm under attack. 
hog. Lomau, Lomau, Lomau. He freaked out my bowl. Trees are not so good with you. Plumo. Yes. I he put Ion Shell on me? I'm willing to trade for this kill. Easy, dude. First blood for my sniper? 100%. Every day of the week, dude. Every day, bro. Hi. When golf with your friends? Sometime. Eventually. Yes, yes. What sort of prize is this? I'll not. An interesting decision. Leave me alone. <gasps> Leave me alone. He's so funny. You're so funny, dude. Tramp protector going up as the world's prominent stand up comedian. Yes, yes. Didn't even get the loaded. That's for me, baby. I believe I will. Nah, I don't think so. I don't, see why not. I don't think so. I think we're gonna static right here. Thanks. On to the next grove. Now, now. I'll get there. Okay. And I got a half pull accidentally. We play it off as if it was on purpose, though. I I All will. part of the plan, dude. Yes, yes. All part of the plan. Broken one of your gators? What does that mean? What is it? What kind of gator? Alligator? See you later, gator. 
different kind of gator. Oh god, what are we doing, Sniper? You're dead as fuck. He's so dead. That was a very not worth trade, but okay. Sure, Sniper. Get mana boot. I suppose. Mana boot. I suppose. In good time. An A mid. I yes, yes. actually paid attention to that until now. Like I said, I cannot stop it. But he is kill trading at least, so like, could be worse. Too late to run. I creep aggro, I creep aggro. Yes. Do not provoke me. Be careful. My attack speed is so slow. Okay, he's got DD, huh? Sure is level seven because you fucking dying to him, dude. Century for a double kill bottom. I'm still sad about it though. Oh, eventually. What is our invoke email? I really wish it would rotate. So many heroes. Yes. Yes, yes. 
It's an illusion, gamer. in the 1v1. Okay, uh, thank you. Leave me alone, Dro. Free. I really don't know why I'm the only one fucking running this tower. Sniper's getting a bunch of solo XP, so I guess it's worth. The sniper won that? Yeah, I don't know how. I feel like Darkseer should be kicking his ass. Have any gamers coming to help? Answer is no. <laughs> we are just going to AFK at the small camp. Okay. Well, I, I maybe went for a little bit too advanced of a play for the current skill of my randoms, but that's fine. I can compensate. Oh. Axe and Hoodwink have no fucking idea which is go what is going on, which was like pretty clear when I was solo laning while they were trying to do the large camp together. But, you know, I had a modicum of faith. Oh, the Sunstrike. Fog, oh, dude. vision on If 
my invoker, I'll see you in hell. Oh, he lives. Okay, cool. Now, now. I suppose. Okay, Maria? No, he's going straight ags. Okay, Jesus. That's gonna be a fucking nightmare and a half. Your bottom tower is under attack. On to the next room. Come on, bottom tower, I believe, I believe. I'll protect Your bottom tower is under attack. I'll not be Oh, if they're just gonna let me defend this for free, then I'm I'm fine with it. Oh, okay, maybe not for free. I will I will trade my life for pulling three heroes bottom. This is fine. Again, we are like actually making progress on the map while this is happening. We just killed their mid laner. I am totally fine with pulling three heroes to that. I will probably still go back there when I'm up. Because that's totally fine if I am pulling three people. That is that is chill with me. Radiant structures are fortified. Okay, I actually don't get to go back there when I'm up if there's that many people still. Do that. That's all I got. Oh, Sniper just fucking TP'd there. That Sniper's probably dead. Oh. Your bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, that was predictable. I don't know why Sniper fucking went in there. Axe is dead now, too. The enemy's middle tower oh. has fallen. Your bottom tower Alright, well, we got two tier 2 towers for that. That's fine with me. Cool. I got a bottle on invoker, no bottle. Me and my five billion ion cell damage. Right there. So soon. Yes. Just kidding. I thought we got that tower. I guess we did not. Sentry there too. Got so many fucking sentries. Yes, yes. Axe looks dead damage. as fuck. Is that guy actually gonna go try and help back? He is. Okay. Trees are not so good with motion. Okay, well, Axe didn't die. Grab my tier two. <laughs> Yoink that shit. And use my courier to deward high ground over there, but I'm sort of nervous about the witch doctor bounces. Hey, he's got dragon. He's fine. 
Okay, it's not fine actually. He did not blink in. We didn't get a single trade. Okay, everybody fucked off immediately after I engaged. Tragic. I think that was a perfectly good fight. Unfortunately, everybody disengaged when I engaged. Which doesn't work. Our axe is like, again, that, I guess that's... To be fair, I did say earlier this game that the axe and hoodwink are unreliable. And I did just try and rely on them, so maybe I don't do that anymore. That does not seem to be working out in my favor. That is twice now that I've been like, here's this very obvious play that we should do as a team. And then they're like, I don't see it, I don't commit. And then I'm like, oh, well, I die if you don't commit, so. Ooh. I got my dog. I believe I will. The time has come. My friends are here and will soon be gone. I don't see why not. My shard is actually super pop. So great for me. Drink water. I sip. All right. Well, these are for me. Now, now. Yes. Yes. Group of like with, with, with team. Of course. Max is just kind of wandering. I'm just gonna fucking do one of those. It'll be tough. I don't see anybody, so I don't want a D-word here, but I know they have vision. I suppose. I to try and help Invoker. Oh god. Okay, well he whiffed that because I went invis, so that's kind of pog. Are we just fucking off? Axe is not fucking off. This is... Mm, I don't really know what we're doing here. I don't really like it. fucking got my blink cancelled the second I blinked. That's so sad. What did I get my blink cancelled by? Oh, maybe there was an AA ice thing in the trees or something. The enemy's bottom I didn't take damage from an AA ice thing. I don't know. Maybe I got fucking punched. Our axe is very squishy. Yeah. Rest in peace, my courier, too. I wasn't microing it because I got distracted by the fight. Dang! That was such a sad fight. That could have been really good. Alas, Hoodwink still doesn't have an item yet. Really sad. Hoodwink feels very bad for the past Radiance 5 billion patches. I feel like we can defend this as a team. Your top is under attack. Your middle tower 
is under attack. I'm just gonna play John Farmington since like my team is wholly unreliable unless Invoker fucking shows up to be John Farmington before I do. Bad. Scanning. Good time. Oh right. my. This is good. Courier coming back up. Yes. I fucking hate this shard, dude. I hate that it stops my auto attacks when I go invisible. Wish there was a setting for that. God, and the disarm. got four staff. I feel like maybe I go ag now just to yes, punch the cobalt yes. and killed it. I did. Exactly. What I have no regret. If I could just go ags yes. to be utility. A little utility free. Free that provides utility. love to like ever group and do anything i don't think we outscale the enemy team to be quite honest i think we super lose to them late game that was way scarier than we are my team into a smoke to try and force a play on the drow maybe they got vision there for sure now, now. Such impatience. your middle tower is under attack Throw my buttons, man. That was incredibly poor execution on the part of the people not recommend remembering what Witch Doctor does. Because he was always going to do that. There was no other Witch Doctor play to be made there other than stand on the back line and channel ult. So if we were not saving Axe Call for that or any other like way to stop him. Nobody ever was gonna. Radiant structures are fortified. Your top tower is under attack. I 
Have to do road. Your top yeah. tower has fallen. In good time. I suppose. Yes, yes. Well gotten game. Of course. Your top tower is under attack. So mana poor on this. Oh, God. partially due to my itemization, but first just because Priant has dog shit mana regen. Your top tower is under attack. Tier one mid. Huh? One cast is like a fucking fourth of my. On uphill, that's fucking sick. Okay, we got the tower tonight, too. Nice. Now, now. Hacks likes this very much. So soon. Oh, very well. So got ages.
Oh, me and all my tree lines, dude. Talking about trees. Is fine because didn't get maledicted. This is down. The enemy's bottom tower. Like the five billionth time that we have done nothing off the back of that ability. I have no way to save that. It's literally just Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor is their only factor that our team has not done anything to prepare for. So close to act. Doctor is still the only person on their team that's scary. Mana time, mana time. Oog. Mana time, mana time. Getting mana time. Mana Your acquired. Tower is under attack. Rest in peace, bottom tower. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh, I save it. Yes. Barely. He's fucking dead with his ability. Up. He fucking with so hard, dude. <laughs> he is so turbo dead because of that whiff. Genuinely tragic. That many for egg. Yes. I'll get there eventually. Okay. So swift alive. Radiant structures are fortified. Really wish Invoker with PP boots was fucking split pushing, man. I really wish Invoker with PP boots was split pushing. Oh, they backed off, man. Can we like smoke? I suppose. Go team, go team, go team. Yes. 
I don't want to initiate on Abaddon, man. Such a bad go. Doctor's got fucking blink. Gotta have that funny button. So close, dude. I am so very. Oh god, is that fucking sniper dead, man? She's dead. So are they. Jesus Christ. They just got fucking owned. Holy shit, yeah, it's Jover. Sniper got caught out. And then those guys both just ate fucking Turbo Maledict. Got all of mid lane covered. Of or Tormentor, maybe? Now you have my attention. I'll protect you. Need more heroes, dude. In good time. <laughs> That's not enough heroes, Dying unfortunately. Wait for us. What makes you? Th oh my God, we're fucking hoodwink ulting it. Just wait, wait for them. Oh, very well. Is so enough. Okay. Your top tower is under attack. Your top tower has fallen. Now, now. I suppose. Yes.
I go get mana while I have a sec. Oh, this is a, this is a long ass game, dude. Drow is cooking. Yeah, Drow is fucking yes. massive at this point. Drow kind of fucking yes. mondo huge. Her axe is so bad. Radiant structures are fortified. So dead. That was huge. Our hood wink does nothing. Our axe just wiggles back and forth because he doesn't know how to not whiff call. Oh, oh, it's rough, gamers. It's rough. Oh god. Let me whiff Maledict. Your middle bones has fallen. I am um, AA crit or drow crit rather. This game's over. It could have been one, but our axe and hoodwink are just not characters. I think sniper and invoker are doing fine. But axe and hoodwink have a lot to figure out still. Oog. Your bottom tower yeah. Has pretty rough. Your bottom barracks has but a wink with three kills is pretty rough. Axe with less. Oh. Oog. Feel bad for Sniper. Sniper's kind of been like playing perfectly fine. Not great, but like he's fine. But a wink just keeps whiffing abilities back to back. We're not shooting ult at people that could die to it. Very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. We wanted that tier 2 tower or tier 4 tower to live. Alas. Sniper. Rip Woodwing. Yeah. 
Your top tower has fallen. The enemy now has mega guns. Your middle tower is under attack. Wait, where? Your middle tower has fallen. Your ancient is under attack. Oh, I've got you. I fortify ancient. Radiant structures are fortified. Your ancient is under attack. Rip. <gasps> GG. We did what we could. Unfortunate. I think Invoker and Sniper did fine, but oh, but Wink and Axe were just not characters. Axe was our like pri Axe and Hoodwink were both our primary uh, witch doctor stoppers. Ooh, being a thousand gold behind Axe, who has fucking spin to farm, feels pretty bad. That feels pretty bad. Axe should have like 8k net worth over me at least. Yeah, Sniper and Invoker like were pretty fine. Hoodwink did not land anything that game, dude. No ults, no Ws. I stand by my stance of, like, Hoodwink. Hoodwink is just... Ooh, not a good character if you're bad at fucking landing, see, uh, landing skill shots. It remains true to this day. If you suck at landing skill shots, Hoodwink is going to be really worthless. Hoodwink, my beloved, the most worthless hero if you can't land skill shots. I put my abilities on cooldown. Nothing has happened, but I did lose mana and they are on cooldown. Very cool. It's okay. I'm sure they're learning. I'm sure they're not 3,000 games in and permanently stuck at this skill level. Smile. 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 I have confidence in them. They're, they're doing great. Alright. In the meantime... We're gonna raid on out of here. So I'm gonna go say hi to Okepa, because they're fucking sick and I have not seen them uh, live in a hot minute. So you're gonna go say hi to them. Tell them they're cool and cute. And I will see you guys on Sunday. Maybe with face tracking, probably not, but maybe. Check out the Discord, exclamation point Discord to get in there. Uh, we're gonna do a VR chat hangout on Friday. So I'd love to see you there. As always, massive thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon or by donating or something to the channel. Let's me keep my funny little lights on. Let's me pay for my requisite dragon snack. And I will see you guys to not tomorrow, Sunday or Friday in the Discord. Who knows? Have a good rest of your morning, afternoon, or night. I'll catch you later. Just once again.